welcome back to the channel. I know you're probably all thinking, Demi, why are you lying? The title of the video says you're going to be trying different foods, but you've just ate porridge, so you're lying. I know, I know I did have porridge this morning. However, I have changed the way that I do it. I've been adding cinnamon into my porridge now, and I've also been adding more chocolate on the top and it's even better. That was a little change. However, the rest of the day is going to be looking a lot different. For dinner, usually I'd be having avocado, but today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to make like a frittata, vegetable frittata, and it's made with egg. So it's essentially like a big omelet with loads of veg. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I hope that you enjoy watching. I hope that you're all doing okay. And I hope that you're not annoyed at me for having oats for breakfast, but I just love them, okay? What I've got so far is, I don't know if you say zucchini or courgette, and then I've got sweet potato, tomato, and mushroom. And then I've got two eggs, and then I'm gonna add spinach as well. I've just added the sweet potato to the pan because that's gonna take the longest to cook. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil as well. And then I'm just going to let that do its thing. Whilst the sweet potato is just cooking away, I'm going to crack two eggs into a jar. On the recipe I've found, they add Greek yogurt to the eggs when they whisk it. And that's something I've never tried before, so I'm going to try that because, as the video says, we are trying new things. Also, I just want to say eggs are something that do scare me a bit. I mean, listen to that, but they i don't know i just feel like because i don't know my my anorexia just kind of thinks that it's gonna make me dramatically change in my body but it's not eggs are really good for you i did all of the veg i've whisked the egg with the greek yogurt spread it around it looks so good This is the vegetable frittata. I've just added some of these on the top. This is just salt with pepper and tomato flakes, so it's nice and seasoned. It looks really yummy. This is so good. The sweet potato with the courgette and the mushroom. It's so good. I think maybe next time I would add some red onion and then also you could add like feta on the top. Oh, that would be good. It's raining now. I really enjoyed that for a change. And it was so easy to make and so nice, so tasty. I've literally just had my dinner, but I'm gonna have an apple and I'm gonna have some almond butter. I wouldn't usually do this, so I'm gonna try it and yeah, <laughs> let's cut up the apple. I've got my apple <laughs> and almond butter. I've never tried this combo before. I know I've seen a lot of people do it with peanut butter. Mm. See, nut butters are something else that terrify me and apples as well they never used to i used to have an apple every single day i was so rigid that if i didn't have this apple then i thought that everything was gonna completely change and everything was gonna fall apart and then i convinced myself that there was something wrong with apples and <laughs> now here i am eating one with nut butter straight after my dinner because that's okay honestly this is so nice. Wow. I'm feeling a little bit like I shouldn't have done that. I've just had my dinner, so I'm basically having like extra snacks today, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for therapy now, and then when I get home, I will be having more food. <laughs> I'll probably have a yogurt bowl, and that's okay. Even if I've just had almond butter with an apple, it doesn't matter. I was sitting there last night and I was thinking I could 
could just eat some oats now and I've been told that I need to start eating before I go to bed because it's gonna help. So, you know, I was sat there and I was going round and round and round in circles in my head. No, don't have them. Yes, have them. No, 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 you don't need them. Why are you doing that? No, but I really want them. Can't get them out of my head. So I just thought, right, you know what? Fuck this. I am gonna make the oats. So yeah, I did that last night and it was quite empowering. Don't feel guilty for having snacks and don't feel guilty for eating more than those around you because that's something that I really struggle with. I forget that I'm the one in recovery and I find it really easy to compare constantly to my family what they're eating, what I'm eating and I'm like oh but they're not eating that so I don't have to eat that or they've, they're full from that so why aren't I full from that but remember you are the one in recovery and you are the one who is healing so don't compare. I am back now. This one was very emotional. My face has gone really flushed afterwards. <laughs> I could feel my face like, just like, just my cheeks though. <sighs> yeah, it was a lot. I spoke about writing a letter to your anorexia as a friend and then vice versa, so as an enemy. I had to read out what I'd wrote and it was so emotional and very powerful. If you're in a better place in your recovery and you're able to do that, then I would highly recommend trying that out and writing a letter as a friend and as an enemy. I'm just gonna make what I've been excited to make um, pretty much all day. I got some toffee, um, toffee ginger granola. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this now. Mmm. That was so good. I don't know why my face is so flushed after that therapy. I got like, when I was reading my letter, I got really embarrassed. Like, <laughs> you know when you were at school and the teacher asked you to read out some pages? I kind of felt like that. And I don't really read out loud in front of people very often. I got a bit like embarrassed, I think, but you know, it's okay. Before I go to the shop, I'm actually gonna make a dessert to have for after my dinner this evening. So yeah, I thought I would show you that. I did post a picture on my Instagram the other day of it and it was so good. I didn't expect it to turn out as well as it did, considering what it is. It's so simple, but it is so nice. All I've done is chopped up some dark chocolate and a little bit of white chocolate and now I'm going to heat it like really low heat um, until it's like melted and basically made like chocolate milk. And then all it is is literally Greek yoghurt. Literally just pour this onto the top of here. Honestly, look at that consistency. You could put whatever chocolate you want in there. But yeah, milk, dark chocolate, Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey and a little bit of vanilla extract. Highly recommend. And then I've just portioned them out into bowls because I've made it for the fam as well. I'm just prepping my pesto for tonight. So, so far I've got some almonds and basil. I've added some garlic, olive oil, parmesan cheese, salt, pepper. That's it. do this I always think oh this will be a really good idea if I try and make this and then I try and do it and it always goes wrong but I can't use the blender so I'm using a pestle and mortar to mash up the pesto sauce it smells really good so that's promising pesto is done and I've got some cheese for the top I'm just waiting for the pasta to cook pesto into the pasta camera is gonna die so I'm gonna do a taste test really quick mm. <laughs> I've added some raspberries and crumbled Biscoff biscuit on the top so I'm gonna enjoy this now I finished all of my chocolate mousse and my pasta pesto is something that really terrifies me because it's got nuts olive oil cheese 
and yeah it's a very nutrient dense pasta sauce but that does not mean that it's bad i really enjoyed it like the taste was so nice and i love pesto i love cheese i just need to remind myself that it's just the anorexia that's making me think and feel like that reflecting back to what i'm learning in therapy you have to just kind of sit with that feeling and then think actually is that coming from the anorexia or is that coming from me and it's coming from the anorexia i was gonna do like just today for trying the new things but i feel like i can try a lot more stuff so i'm gonna do like a few days of trying new things i'll see you when i next pick up the camera i'm sure it will be tomorrow